It's time for Outdoors in the Valley with your host, Jim Dugan, on WJER. Outdoors in the Valley is brought to you by TMK Valley Propane in Bakersville. When looking for a reliable local propane provider, trust TMK Valley Propane. Affordable, friendly, professional, all the way with TMK. Outdoors in the Valley is coming up next. TMK Valley Propane is embracing remote tank monitors. Are you tired of going outside to check your propane tank or forget to order your propane on time? TMK Valley Propane now provides reliable remote tank monitoring technology. Let TMK Valley Propane take the worry away, provide timely delivery, and never run out of propane again. Thank you for your trust in TMK Valley Propane. All the way with TMK, service with a personal touch. Welcome to Outdoors in the Valley with Jim Dugan on WJER. This week, we will stop by a local corn maze as we kick off the fall season. Fall projects to get your landscaping ready for spring. We will see what is happening at the very popular Tusk Parks Fall Fest that's coming up. Harvest time means drivers will be sharing the road with farm machinery. Some tips to stay safe. And where you can learn Ohio history from a man who studies barns. Those stories coming up on Outdoors in the Valley. Thanks for tuning in. A great way to celebrate fall is to visit a corn maze, and Tuscarawas County is home to one of the best. Carol Bolts says visitors will find this year's maze features the major roadways and intersections of the county. Our theme this year is Tuscarawas County, so we have the entire outline of Tuscarawas County with the major roadways. We're going to be open um, the entire month of October, and we are starting our corn maze off with opening weekend, two nights of a glow maze. We put glow sticks in the maze and give people glow sticks and suggest bringing flashlights, and you can traverse through the path, and we round out our season with a haunted maze, which is another night maze, October 28th. The Bolts Corn Maze is open Fridays from 4 to 8 and on Saturdays and Sundays 11 until 7 through October 28th. It is located at 522 Hummel Valley Road Southwest in New Philly. Fall does not mean the end to outdoor projects around your yard. This is the perfect time to jumpstart your spring landscaping. Start by removing any invasive species. This will make room for the plants you want to grow. Also, consider planting shrubs and trees. Fern Snyder is with the State Division of Wildlife. This is a great time of year to, to help kill some of the invasive wildlife species we have out there, such as autumn olive tree you have them. And by taking care of them invasive species, we're leaving room for our native plant species. Plant trees and shrubs, some of your soft mass producing trees, such as crab apples or some of your vitamins burn species. The very popular Tusk Parks Fall Fest is almost here. The Norma Johnson Center is the place to be on Saturday, October 7th. Tusk Parks hosting their annual Fall Fest from noon until 5 p.m. Marsha Freeland highlights the family-friendly event. Pumpkin painting and face painting. And if individuals bring clothes, we'll have straw for them to stuff for scarecrow making. Glass Mac reptiles and We'll be back this year, as well as we'll have an Ohio animal pelt table with a scavenger hunt. Hope Hill Missions will be doing a children's craft table. The Dover Library will also be doing a children's craft table. In order to come, you just need $5 for your per car, and everybody gets in. And once you get in, things are pretty much free unless you decide to visit the concession stand or sponsor a monarch for a release for Mexico. Drivers not only have to be alert for deer this time of year, but also farm machinery. Traffic on country roads picks up during the fall season. Between harvesting and planting cover crops, slow-moving and oversized farm machinery will share the roads with motorists. Chris Zoller of the Ohio State University Extension Office stresses the need for caution. It's important for both the motoring public and equipment operators, farmers, to maintain assured clear distances. Just use extreme caution, allow enough distance between you and that piece of equipment in front of you. Understand that many of these pieces of equipment are large, they're wide, they're going to require some extra space. Chris has these safety reminders. Well, certainly with uh, farmers, you know, making sure that you're aware of the the distance of the equipment. For the motoring public, understand, again, that these pieces of equipment are large. 
they're wide, and they're slow moving. And if you do, in a situation where you meet farm equipment coming toward you, if you can get off the side of the road safely and allow that equipment to pass, that's probably the most ideal thing to do. You can learn history in a variety of ways. This man looks at barns. For 25 years, Tom O'Grady has made a hobby of studying Ohio's heritage through its natural and cultural geography and settlement of barns. He will be guest speaker at the Zor Schoolhouse on October 11th at 11 a.m. I spoke with Tammy Shrum, director of Historic Zor Village, about this interesting program. Different barns represent different cultural backgrounds all throughout Ohio. So you can kind of follow the migration and immigration of people into Ohio based on the barn architecture and structure. Speaker series is free and it's open to the public and it starts at 11 a.m. in the Zora Schoolhouse. That's this week's show. We would like to hear from you. Contact us at WJER at WJER.com. Miss an episode of the show? Check out the video section of WJER.com. Until next week, I'm WJER outdoor correspondent Jim Dugan. Enjoy your weekend. Thanks for listening to Outdoors in the Valley with your host, Jim Dugan, on WJER. Brought to you weekly by TMK Valley Propane in Bakersville. Online at tmkvalleypropane.com.